Hello, welcome to this Apacer instructional video. Today, the Apacer team will show you how to install an SDM SSD on a motherboard. Before installation, be sure to observe the following precautions. Fully shut down and power off your system, and ground yourself by wearing the appropriate anti-static gloves, coat, and wrist straps. Don't remove the SSD from its bag until it's time to install the SSD. When you're ready to remove the SSD from its packaging, hold it by the sides and do not touch the components. In a few cases, the SDM may feature a power supply within the connector. If it does, the SATA connector will have two small metal pins, which will correspond to pins on the motherboard. A motherboard connector without the pins looks like this. If you're using this power supply, you shouldn't connect power via the motherboard's power supply as well, as this can damage the SDM. In most cases, a cable will need to be added to supply power. A cable that looks like this will be supplied in the packaging if it's part of your order. We suggest you connect the power cable first before installing the SDM on the motherboard. In this sample case, the four-pronged plug is gently connected to the power supply. Due to grooves on either side of the plug, it will only fit in one way. The power port on the SDM is this small white opening here. Extend the cable from the motherboard and carefully fit the small plug to the SDM module. Be careful not to insert the plug upside down. There is a small convex nodule that should be on the top of the plug as it attaches. You should be able to feel it click into place. Now that power has been sorted out, let's prepare to install the module on the motherboard. The SDM connector has a distinctive uppercase L shape. Hold it so that the larger space formed by the foot of the L is on the left. Next, it's time to locate the SDM socket on the system board. There's the L shape again with the foot of the L on the right. Align the module into the connector at a 180 degree angle. Line up the foot of the L on the module with the L on the connector. Remember that one is a mirror of the other. Press it firmly into the socket. You may hear or feel a faint click as the connector on the bottom of the module fits into place. If you want to remove the module, there's an extra step to keep in mind. First, press the connector at the bottom of the module to allow it to release the connection. Then gently remove the module by pulling it out vertically. And it's as simple as that. We hope this video helped you with the installation process. Thanks for choosing a pacer.